hello everyone welcome to my channel in this video i'm gonna to talk about on-premises data gateway so there are two types of on-premises data gateway a standard mode and a personal mode so we are going to learn uh, about both and there is a third one as well which is virtual gateway which is VNet Gateway, but we are going to talk today about on-premises data gateway. So first of all, what is data gateway? So imagine that uh, you have a Excel file and you created a report in Power BI and published it to the Power BI service. And then after a while after a few days you have now new data in the excel file and you wanted to refresh that published report on power bi service which you published earlier with the new data so how to do that now there is no connection between uh, your on premises file which is saved on local computer and the file uh, or the report already published on Power BI service. So to create a connection, we use a data gateway and data gateway is a bridge between two and using a data gateway, the data refresh on uh, Power BI service. So that is the basics about uh, what is data gateway and why do we need it? So if you do not have a data gateway then you have to publish that report again with the new data uh, to the power bi service but with the data gateway you do not need to publish it again you can straight away refresh it using the data gateway so that is the importance of data gateway in this video we are going to learn how to download it and uh, then how to set it up on the Power BI service. And then at the end, I will show you how you can refresh your report with the new data. So without delay, let's get started. But before that, if you are new to this channel and you didn't subscribe yet, then hit the subscribe button and subscribe my channel. I upload Power BI videos regularly. And so you can have that update when I upload the video okay I'm going to open up Power BI and for that here I'm in Power BI desktop and I'm going to open up Power BI service let me open my workspace and here in this workspace I uh, published my report just few minutes back and this is the semantic model which has the option to refresh so I'm going to click that refresh now and I can see there was an error, but let's try again. There is a triangle where I can see that it didn't refresh. And let me close it and let's go back to the, let's open up the report and uh, we will try again to refresh it from here. So on this three dot, you have an option to, um, see the related content and you can refresh the report from here as well so uh, i'm going to refresh it i can see the rep uh, error there I'm, I'm going to click on this schedule refresh and here on this page um, i am on the semantic model and let me scroll it down and here I have an option to gateway and cloud connection. And when I expand it, I can see there it says that you do not have any data gateways. And that's why it cannot refresh it. So to download a data gateway, go to the down arrow button on from the menu and click on this data gateway. It will bring us to this uh, web page where we can download the data gateway. Uh, there are uh, two types of data gateway again. Here is a standard mode and the personal mode. Um, you can uh, compare both by 
if you scroll it down there are comparison but main comparison is on the standard mode uh, you can add other people as well uh, to that gateway connection so better to download a standard mode so i'm going to click on that and now it's downloading here i can open up the file and um, set it up now so i'm going to install it and now i need to sign in with my email address which is my power bi service account so i'm going to uh, sign in and now i have two options register a new gateway on this computer and migrate it the file if you already have old uh, registered gateway so in my case i'm going to leave it as new gateway and i'm going to click on next and new on premises data gateway name so i need to give a name here so i given my gateway name and my recovery key so all this you need to remember okay and i'm going to click on configure and as you can see i have this window here and everything is ready now so i'm going to close this window and we'll go back to the power bi service and let's go first to our report so i just wanted to show here that our report currently has uh, you can see my data my data starts from september 2013 to november 2014 on the second page as well i have i have one bar chart and it shows september 2013 to november 2014 what i'm gonna to do now i'm gonna to set up the gateway and then i have a december 2014 data as well so we will see to refresh that with the december data here okay so let's get start now i'm going to go back here um so again i'm on that uh, screen semantic model and i'm gonna to put it here gateway and cloud connection and now after installing it sh it shows me my my um, gateway which i installed lda gateway okay and if i click on this then it shows me my file path which is on my computer the excel file path and it asking me to add to gateway so we need to add to this to gateway so let's click on that and now it's asking me the connection name so i'm saying that uh, financial excel data gateway okay so that is my name and everything is here authentication windows that windows username so here i need to give my uh, windows uh, password and username and then it will access the excel file from my computer okay so let's give me my username and password so i gave my um, login window information and now here again i am back to this uh, box here and i chose my uh, data gateway file and i'm going to apply and it's applied now i'm going to show you that file where i have my data so this is the file which i um, created the report from and if i show you here you can see i have 2013 and 14 data if i remove 2013 then i have 2014 here and in the month 
you can see I do not have a December data. Now I'm going to get from my other file, I'm going to get the December data. And in this file, you can see I have only uh, December data. So let me show you that. Filter. And I have only 2014 here. And in a month, I have only December here. So I'm going to uh, copy this data and paste it to the main file. Copy and I'm going to paste it to end of this file. here and you can see that I have now our December data so now we have 701 rows here so let's go to the Power BI desktop and I'm gonna to so currently we have this November data and I'm going to refresh it now or let me save did I save it so I saved this file and now from Power BI I'm going to refresh it so as you can see this number also changed and I have now December data here. Okay, and let me go to the page two as well, where I have a December data here. It should show the tooltip. Okay, so now, so now we have our December data, as you can see in the tooltip, it shows, uh, December uh, data here. Now let's go back to the Power BI service and let's open our report. And here we have still only last month as November and on the first page as well it shows as November. So now we are going to refresh it. And let's go to the related content again and I'm going to refresh it. Now it's refreshing and now it's complete refresh. So let's go, let's close this window and here it's 100, 106 million and last is November. So uh, let's see, let's go back here to the workspace and see it refresh now and our report should refresh as well. Let me refresh the page itself. Yes, so now we have our December data as you can see here. As you can see here we have December data so this is all about the on-premises data gateway guys if you like the content of the video then please comment like share and subscribe my channel and thank you for watching see you in the next video thank you